Hello, this is Tom Ford, and I'm a commercial horticulture educator with Penn State Extension. Today I'd like to talk about managing black vine weevil in strawberries. Black vine weevil can have a significant impact on your strawberry operation. One of my growers who had an historic yield of 23,000 quarts from his operation, he received a price per quart of about $3.50 for his berries, and he would see an anticipated gross income of about $80,500. When black vine weevil hit in 2009, his yield dropped to 8,500 quarts, and his income loss from black vine weevil was $50,750. As the grower recalled, in the spring of 2009, the strawberry planting did not seem to have its same vigor as it came through the winter. He noticed that the crowns were poorly rooted in, uh, there was significant browning of the foliage, Initially, he suspected that he was dealing with black root rot and never suspected that there was some type of insect issue in his strawberry planting. As you looked at the crown more closely, you would notice that the foliage um, was significantly browned, especially in the center of the plant. There may be some green foliage on the outer edges, which were typically auxiliary crowns or daughter plants in this situation. Upon digging the strawberry plant, the grower noticed some white C-shaped larvae around the crown, often detecting three to five a larvae per crown in the situation. As the grower removed the crown, he noticed also that the root system was blackened, the outer epidermis of the roots had sloughed off, and that there was some reddish-brown frass in the center of the crown. Upon closer examination of the crown, the grower also noted that there were some exit holes in the crown, again with the red frass very, very evident. And as we see in this photograph here, we see the clipped roots, the blackened root system. We see some black vine weevil larvae in the background, and again, some very stunted and very dwarf looking foliage. Black vine weevil larvae, again, are C-shaped, they're legless. There are three arrows pointing to the black vine weevil larvae in this photograph. As we look up to the right quadrant, we'll notice a white grub larvae with very pronounced forelegs. Again, black vine weevil larvae are legless. That's a key indicator in trying to identify them appropriately. The black vine weevil life cycle, typically adult females, begin to emerge in late May. The eggs are laid in the soil from June and July to fall. The newly hatched larvae move into the roots where they remain feeding until the following spring. There's only one generation a year and male black vine weevils are typically not observed. The adults are nine to 13 millimeters long, black in color with gold flecks on their forewings. Larvae are 15 and a half millimeters in length, C-shaped, white in color, legless with a brown head. To monitor for black vine weevil, scout fields at night with a flashlight. The adults should be feeding on the foliage at that time. Look for leaf notching from late May through June. Place pitfall traps in the field. In the spring, excavate crowns plus three to four inches of roots and look for C-shaped larvae. This is a strawberry leaf where it shows the pronounced notching of the foliage from black vine weevil adults. Some cultural practices you should employ if you're dealing with black vine weevil include rotating infested fields one to two years, and new planting should be located 500 yards away from infested fields, or you can erect a plastic barrier fence between the infested field and the new planting. There are some biological control options. There are very few parasitoids or predators which are known to attack this pest. You can use um, soil inhabiting fungi like Bovaria bassiana and Metarhizium anisopliae. Both adult and larvae have been found to be susceptible to these um, beneficial fungi. You can also use entomopathogenic nematodes. Heterabditis bacteriophora, Heterabditis merulatus, applied at two and a half to three billion nematodes per acre. They're typically released in the spring or summer when temperatures are above 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The cost may be prohibitive. It's estimated it may cost you $1,620 an acre to apply nematodes for black vine weevil control. 
If you're going to try to control the adult weevils, you can use the insecticide Brigade WSP, which has a PHI of zero days, Malathion 8F, which has a PHI of three days, Octara, which has a PHI of three days. If you're going to try to control black vine weevil larvae, your best option is the material platinum, uh, which has a PHI of 50 days. It's typically applied after renovation and during regrowth in early August. At this juncture, the black vine weevil larvae are just emerging from their eggs and they're very easy to control. If you follow these steps, you should be able to control and manage black vine weevil larvae in your planting and have a successful strawberry growing season. This again has been Tom Ford, commercial horticulture educator with Penn State Extension.